Alright, what is going on you guys? It's your boy White Album here. Welcome back to another Mortal Kombat 1 reaction video. Today I am bringing you guys the Takeda uh, Combat Cast. I'll be 100% honest with you guys, I forgot this was happening today. Um, Because I actually just recorded some Tsukihime and I was just going to go off and uh, just start uh, editing that and while I was just playing uh, some games, I'm, I'm actually playing some uh, Zenless Zone Zero. That's pretty fun so far. Um, and it wasn't until I went here on YouTube that I saw that Mortal Kombat was live. I was like, what the hell? And I see that it says Takeda joins MK1. I was like, oh, shit. I completely forgot about that. When I clicked it, luckily, there was like seven minutes left. The thing's going to start here at like at one o'clock. But luckily, I caught it just in time because, I'll be, again, I completely forgot that this was about to happen. So... <laughs> Again, you know the usual, man. They're going to show off to Kato, see what he's got going on, man. We're going to be playing him relatively soon. Give it a couple days. And like what? Let's see. Uh, 19, 21, 22, five days, six days. He's going to be playable. Uh, for At least for combat pack owners, he's going to be playable relatively soon. Actually, I think currently it is um, Evo weekend. So if you're at Evo, you get to play him hella early too. Uh, at least get a taste of him before you can actually get your hands on him when he officially drops uh you know the 23rd for combat pack holders but enough of that i'll see you guys in just a moment when the combat cast starts all right here we go ladies and gentlemen the combat cats man again i completely forgot this was happening today <laughs> i mean it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a relatively short one because they're just gonna be showing off to Kata. oh but hopefully they show off some uh some stuff too man because man, I know they they showed off. I know Ed Boon showed off the uh, the OG Mortal Kombat movie Scorpion skin, and that looks sick. So hopefully they'll have a, uh, a the fight between Takeda and Scorpion showing that off because they did that with um, what was it? Was it Homeland? Yeah, it was Homelander where they showed off the new Molina skin. So hopefully they'll show off some some cool stuff today. Let me turn it up a bit. The trailer like normal like normal the usual but yeah hopefully they show up some new stuff man or at least some like maybe more co cosmetic stuff i would say more cosmetic stuff maybe for katana i don't know because they still haven't given her her uh order of darkness fucking skin i've been waiting for that for a hot moment now uh so hopefully they show up some like new skins or something that'd be sick or maybe they might tease combat pack too who knows who knows that would be sick that would be sick that would be sick <laughs> and Tito's is really good man like hopefully all the mkx people are happy that taquita's here man because that all the combat kids uh, he's like definitely like the more popular one like him and cassie are up there it's like him like, I think it's Cassie, then him. I mean, those are arguably going to be interchanged, him and Cassie. But then it's probably like Kung Jin, then Jackie. And it'd be cool because, it man, it'd be cool if Kung Jin be the next combat pack. That'd be sick. Because if you don't know, like, they showed off to Takeda's bio. He's actually um, Kenshi's cousin. He's not his son anymore. Which I actually kind of like. I actually kind of like that. That they're actually cousins this time around. Because then that gives way of like, if they bring in Cassie or Kung Jin, it could be like, okay, well, maybe they're no longer, well, I think Kung Jin was Kung Lao's cousin to begin with, but like with Cassie, it could be like, okay, Cassie is, I don't know, maybe Johnny has a sister, maybe Johnny's cousin, who knows? Or if they did some crazy shit, it's his mom, I don't know. I've also heard some people say it could have been, um, Sonya's sister, but that wouldn't make sense considering it would be Cassie Blade and not Cassie Cage. Because then it'd be a little weird. It's like you have two characters get with each other <laughs> to have the name Cassie Cage when it's like in the past timeline you were a uh, father and daughter. <laughs> so yeah, like who knows? Who knows? But um, man, I'd be so sick of this show off some Combat Pack 2 teases. Again, I highly doubt it. This is more copium on my part. But I really hope they show something for Combat Pack 2. Because, again, they're going to be at Comic-Con this year in a couple days. Or in a 
few days time and they're gonna be showing off uh, the roadmap for year two so oh it's just a little tease a little tease of combat pack 2 would be nice just a little tease just a little little tease you know just a little little sprinkle you know like the little salt finish that you do when you make food but again there we go man that's combat pack one i think a pretty good combat pack all things said in my opinion i know everybody's not the biggest fan of peacemaker and at the current moment homeliner but i think omni man was like uh He's like the best. I think he's like the best guest so far, in my in my opinion. Gameplay wasn't easy. He's like he's not overly broken, but he could fuck your day up. Not like Homelander, where it's just like you have to you you have to guess everything. And then Peacemaker was like the most boring zoner runaway gameplay imaginable, bro. So I think gameplay wise, I think Omni Man is probably the best guest character so far. And then Ermac was great. Quan Chi, he's got better now. And then Takeda, he's here. And Evo. Yeah, good luck to our players, man. Oh, and Farah, Farah. I, I really hope Farah is compatible with Katana. I really hope. I would love to run Farah. As long as Fairy doesn't take away health, I think I think she should be good. Okay, invasions. Are we getting revenant skins? Are we getting revenant skins? That's actually sick. Dude, are we getting Revenant skins for the characters? That's insane. Okay, I'm actually kind of high for the Shang Tsung season. I will say, though, making a Shang is kind of lame, even though he already has his Order of Darkness skin in the game. Oh, yeah, dude, we're getting Revenant skins. That's awesome. I'm kind of hyped. I'm actually really hyped. Dude, what if they give Katana her MK11 Revenant skin? Brother. Oh, 60 frames. Oh. <sighs> no way. Okay. Oh, no. They gave her a meterless pop-up. That's insane. I'm going to get back to playing Assembly May. Okay. 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 So, uh, I I don't I didn't I didn't play Natara that long, but but um, oh they're actually gonna show off the boss. Fuck yeah! Oh, that's her new string. That's insane. Uh, uh oh no. Can you flawless block as the case? Well, what the fuck was that? Oh, Scorpion can now cancel his back three. Alright, sub zero. Uh, I don't know what I'm looking at there, to be honest. I don't play sub zero, so I don't know what I'm looking for. Damn, that pushback's insane. Oh, okay. Okay, I might have to pick the girl back up again. Oh, okay. I don't know what changed with sub zero. I need, I need to look at the patch notes for that. Dude, that new Lee May string is insane. I wonder if it's gapless though. I'm pretty sure most meter, or most meterless uh, pop-ups are gap or have some sort of gaps. Right, cameos. 
We saw Frost. We saw Cyrax. We saw Sector. Oh. Okay. Mm. Oh, so you can move that now. So it's like sort of an ambush? I'm guessing they're saying just it doesn't take as long to set up Cyrax bomb anymore, which is nice. Oh. Hey, didn't he have that in MKX? Where he had like the from Inferno, I think it was, or Hellfire, where he could like put on that fire, like you know, he does like the little fire buff on him. Oh, you could cancel Goro's pop up now into other moves. That's nice. Of course, it's against my girl Katana. Yo, they added a 50-50 to Darius. That's insane. Oh, that's nasty. That's nasty. That's nasty. That's nasty. Oh, yeah. Oh, scam. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, Cameo Scorpion gives you, um, I think it's Hellfire Scorpion Flame Aura. That's pretty sick. Damn. Okay. You remember how I said I was looking for, I was testing out Goro with Katana? I might have to look more into that. No way, bro. Okay, okay. That's what we. This is what we're looking for, baby. Cameo buffs. Stephanie Lore. Oh. Okay. I, I I like I like the change. I know some people are not big fans of it, but I I like it. I kind of like it. I actually kind of like uh the, the the change. Hopefully better. Not to make that sound like a Debbie Downer, but <laughs> okay. Jokes aside, I'm doing I'm doing pretty well in life. <laughs> Could be better, but. So fighting game players in general? Unless you're a Ronin player. <laughs> Very different types of variants. Exactly. So 
Go look at Ferret. Damn, Ferret gives you so much health, dude. It's insane. Yeah, I forgot about that. I don't know why I said she gives you less health, but no, she does. She gives you a shit ton more health. Kind of like Triborg. Why? Why is it an overhead? That's what they need to do with Johnny's overhead. They need to make that a fucking knockback, not a fucking launch. They need to do that for Johnny. I don't mind if it's an overhead as long as it doesn't fucking put me in a full combo. Is that the, the Ninja Turtles jump? Uh, stand, uh, jump three. Remember how in uh, Injustice Two he had like the the turtles had like the split kick. That's gonna be annoying to fight against. I'm sure where are you? One thing is I don't like that it takes them out of the corner. I wish it kind of kept them in. I'm pretty sure you could do obviously you're gonna that's your combo starter, so not bad for that little damage. For one bar. Ooh. It's been a while since we've seen a Rekka and MK. So it's a special move, okay. Makes me wonder how plus each version of the Rekka is going to be. For like, can't, like, for like, uh, staggering. Kind of like Cyborg from Injustice. Oh, it's going to be annoying to fight against. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> so it's like uh, Omni-Man type things. That I wonder how negative that's going to be. That needs to be negative. Because if that's plus or safe, I'm deleting this game. <laughs> Oh, thank God they're mids. They used to be loads in MKX. Or at least they're mids. Ooh, okay. So it's kind of like a Robin's Batarang, but instead of being timed, you just have to throw another, uh, what's it called? Uh, I hope Shujinko takes this. If Shujinko takes that, that'd be sick. Because I, you could do some crazy shit with Katana on that. It works off the throw as well. That's nasty. Oh, you can hold it. No way. So you can like delay whenever the star comes out. And it's basically a checkmate situation of if your opponent lets go a block and they get hit by it, that's insane. That's no, no, dude. So you can even if you could do that shit on block. You can do that on block, cancel it if they don't get hit. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> NRS, what are you doing? That's from Ronin, right?
but it's slow enough to probably we could uh, flawless block it slash up block it so All right, doesn't look that bad. Looks really good. The can't. Dude, that's an insane fatal blow, dude. That's our. That's now the best fatal blow in the game. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. That is now the best fatal blow in the game. Yeah, that is because you could throw the projectile. If they get hit. They get hit. If they don't, you can cancel it. it that's insane. Probably not as insane as I'm making it, but like just the thought of it, of doing a string, you pop it. Ooh, movie Sub Zero, let's go! It was a scorpion, but it's movie Sub Zero. Oh, let's go, classic sub, let's go. We got movie Sub and movie Sub and uh, Scorpion, dude. If we get movie Reptile, that would be insane. That will be insane. Dude, it looks so good. Huh? Okay, so Takeda has normal. Damn, so Farrah gives you 150 extra health. That's insane. Huh? Huh? <gasps> there it is. That's good, dude. Oh my lord, that's so nasty. Uh, uh, uh. Dropped it. That's a punish. <gasps> no. Okay, well, first of all, that's Sub Zero's fault there. Okay, okay. So if he gets. Huh. Okay, okay, okay. I, I think I, I think I know see how the fatal blow works. Okay It has to be the last set of shurikens that connect for it to actually trigger the uh, fatal blow But you could just use the uh, the shurikens as a regular projectile Oh, it looks like he recovers faster from that. I don't I don't know. I don't know what the hell the buff is for uh, Sub-Zero supposed to be. That's punishable. Could have definitely got a better combo than that. What the fuck? Damn. Low into the overhead's insane. Okay, they're not overheads like they used to be. Because back in MKX, those used to be overheads. Like they, I think those are just mids now. Good. They don't need to be overheads. Uh, 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 uh. Damn! Damn! What a combo! That was sick! What a sick combo. Uh, uh. Alright, but this Sub-Zero is going off as well. Uh oh, the setup. Now that setup even is even more dangerous now, dude. That setup is even more dangerous now with the, the sweep. Alright, remember, this is scripted, Sub-Zero. <gasps> he still comboed off of that? Oh, Ooh, brutality. Damn. Ooh, that was sick. That was sick. Okay, that was cool. That was cool, man. They showed off movie Sub-Zero. Let's go. Let's go.
So we got movie Scorpion, we got movie Sub Zero. If we get movie Reptile, that would be sick as well. Because come on, man, he's the only he's the third ninja in that movie. So that'd be really sick if they had that. And they look good too. They look really good. But uh, man, Takeda looks great. He looks awesome. He looks very good. Um, and some of the buffs that we saw for the other characters are insane, man. Like Lee May getting a whole new pop-up string. I wonder if that's like gapless or I'm pretty sure that, again that they, that's gapless or it's uh, minus on block. Like it has to be negative, right? There's like I'm pretty I'm pretty sure most pop-ups in the game are uh, are negative. I'm, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, I think most pop-ups in the game are negative. So. I mean, we'll see when, you know, the patch hits, but that's going to be it for today's video, you guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. It is your boy, White Album. I will see you guys next time.